Tapan Sinha, the 2nd of October 1924 to the 15th of January 2009, was one of the most prominent Indian film directors of his time, forming a legendary quartet with Satyajit Ray, Ritwik Ghatak, and Rinal Sen. He was primarily a Bengali filmmaker who worked both in Hindi cinema and Bengali cinema, directing films like Kabulawala Luha Kapat, Sagina Mahato Apanyan K. Shuti de Pashan and children's film Safed Hati and Aj Ka Robin Hood. Sinha started his career in 1946, as a sound engineer with New Theatre's film production house in Kolkata, then in 1950 left for England where he worked at Pinewood Studios for next two years, before returning home to start his six-decade-long career in Indian cinema, making films in Bengali, Hindi and Oriya languages, straddling genres from social realism, family drama, labour rights, to children's fantasy films. He was one of the acclaimed filmmaker of parallel cinema movement of India. Personal life and background Sinha was born in Kolkata, West Bengal. His empathy for films began from his student life. He was admitted in the Durgacharan M.E. school of Bagalpur in the 5th standard. Later it went on to become a secondary school. His principal was Surendranath Gangopadhyay who happened to be Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay's maternal uncle. He studied physics at the University of Patna and later earned an MSc at the University of Calcutta. He married Indian actress Arundhati Devi. Their son is Indian scientist professor, Anindya Sinha. On 15 January 2009, he died of pneumonia and septicemia. Career <laughs> <laughs> Charles Dickens's novel, A Tale of Two Cities and the cinematic adaptation featuring Ronald Coleman inspired Sinha to get involved in filmmaking. Tapan Sinha went to London in the 1950s to learn filmmaking. On reaching London, he contacted Cryhurst, manager of Pinewood Studios. Through his help, he managed to obtain his first assignment. He got to work in director Charles Crichton's unit as a sound engineer. Crichton, who made some British comedies like Lavender Hill Mob etc. was then working for a film called The Hunted. Sinha started as a sound recording engineer and gradually shifted to directing. Tapan Sinha was greatly influenced by contemporary American and British cinema, in his youth. Among his favourite directors were John Ford, Carol Reed, and Billy Wilder. He used to think that he had to make films on the lines of his favourites. Rabindranath Tagore's work had been a great source of inspiration to him as well. Different Tagore works had special significance to him in various moments of his life. Sinha's first film, On Kush, is based on the Narayan Ganguly story Sonic, which had an elephant as the central character. His next Uphar featured Uttam Kumar, Manju Day and others. His Adar Pariya featured Madhabi Mukherjee, Subhendu Chatterjee, Samitra Mukherjee, Anil Chatterjee, Nirmal Kumar, Subroda Chatterjee, Bikish Roy, Kalyan Chatterjee, Chinmoy Roy and others. It is based on a story by Chittaranjan Maiti. Sinha's Haiti Bazaar is based on an autobiographical story by Banaful. Ashok Kumar and Vijantimala Bali are the central performers. Sinha's Ek Jachilo Desh is a fantasy film, based on a story by Shankar. It concerns a mad scientist who discovers a drug that can reveal an individual's dishonest past. Evil traitors and politicians whose lives are endangered by these discoveries conspire to kill the scientist. The cast features Dipankarda, Samitra Mukherjee, Kali Banerjee, Anil Chatterjee and others. Sinha's Luho Kopat is based on the story of the Bengali writer Jorasandho. The film stars Kamal Mitra, Nirmal Kumar as the jailer and Anil Chatterjee in a character role. Sabuj Dweeper Raja is a children's film, shot in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. It is based on a story by Sunil Ganguly. Sinha's Hansuli banker Upakatha is based on a story by Tara Shankar Banerjee and stars Lily Chakraborty. Kabulawala is based on a story by Rabindranath Tagore. Kabulawala Chobi Biswas, who is dreaded by children turns out to love children. The actors include Chobi Biswas, Tinku Thakur as Mini, Radhamohan Bhattacharji and Manjuda. Tinku Thakur plays Mini, the role of the little girl in the film, and Jibin Bose has a role as well as a jailer, who has good faith in the Kabulawala. 
The Rabindra Sangeet Koro Bayu Boy Big Chari Dik Che Meg is used in the film. He also directed famous movies like Galpo Halio Sati, Story But True, Harm and Safed Hathi in Hindi, White Elephant. Kabulawala 1956 was subsequently remade in Hindi by Bimal Roy and directed by Heman Gupta, featuring Balraj Sahani. Oedelin was cast as the child lead. The film won the Music Award and the Silver Bear at the 7th Berlin International Film Festival. Sinha made a few documentaries, including a biographical film on scientist Jagadish Bose. He also used Rabindrasangeet in other films. The Rabindrasangeet Kino Choker Joel BJ Dile Na, Sukno Dulo Joto is used in his film Ekoni. The film featured Swaroop Dutta, Aparna Sen, Moshumi Chatterjee, Nirmal Kumar, Chinmoy Roy, Pada Devi, Subhendu Chatterjee, N. Wishwanathan and others. The film was based on a novel by Ramapada Chowdhury. Kanakar Atif features Nirmal Kumar, Ruma Guha Thakurta, Anil Chatterjee, Tulsi Lahiri, Radhamohan Bhattachaji and others. The film is based on a story of Tagore. Sinha's Arohi features actors like Kali Banerjee, Bikish Roy, Shipra and Banu Banerjee. This was remade in Hindi by Harishikesh Mukherjee as Arjun Pandit. Arohi was based on a story by Banafool. Safed Hathi, a children's film made in Hindi, features Shatrugan Sinha and Mala Jaggi, and also stars Gayatri. Kalyan Chatterjee played a cameo role as a postman. The story was written by Sinha himself. Sinha's Zindagi Zindagi is a Hindi film with Sunil Dutt and Wahida Rahman. It fared badly, possibly because the narration was too subtle for Hindi audiences. Atithi featured Partha Mukherjee, Smita Sinha and Ajitesh Banerjee. Tansal is a comedy film, in which Madhabi Mukherjee made her debut. His J. Hinder Bandi is based on a story by Saradindu Bandiopadhyay, the well-known historical story writer in Bengali literature, although it was based on the English novel. The Prisoner of Zenda, by Anthony Hope. The actors include Uttam Kumar, Arundhati Devi, Somitra Chatterjee, Radhamohan Bhattacharji, Tarun Kumar, Dilip Roy, Sandhya Roy. The first film in which Uttam and Somitra starred together was Sinha's J. Hinder Bandi in which Somitra was, for the first time, cast as the villain, Mayurbahan. He had worked in barely a handful of films until then, aside from starting off as the struggling Apu buffeted by waves of tragedy. The film was a success, and yet did not typecast Somitra with the permanent mark of a villain, as it might have been apt to do with other actors. Sinha's Sagina Mahato might be categorized as a political film, although it was reactionary in nature and was a direct attack on left wing politics. It tried to disrepute organized struggle by championing the individual heroism of a worker. Dilip Kumar and Sarah Banu play the central characters. Anil Chatterjee also has a supporting role. The Hindi version of the film, named Sagina, also stars Dilp Kumar as the central character. The film was entered into the 7th Moscow International Film Festival. Sinha's Kalamati was the first film to deal with life in creches in coal mine areas. Made in 1957, it was much ahead of its time. Anil Chatterjee has a role in the film. Raja stars Debraj Ray, Shamit Banya, Arati Bhattachaji, Mahua Roy Choudhury, Anil Chatterjee, Santu Mukherjee and others. Apanyan is a story of unemployed youths, starring Swaroop Dutta and Shamit Banya, Chia Devi, Rabi Ghosh, Nirmal Kumar, Sumita Sanyal. This early film focuses on a movement similar to Naxalism in later days. Apan Jan was remade in Hindi by Gulzar as Mir Apni. The film also features Chaya Devi, Rabi Ghosh, Banu Banerjee, Kalyan Chatterjee, Partha Mukherjee, Nirmal Kumar and others. Aj Ka Robin Hood, a children's film funded partly by the government and a producer, Jalan, has been screened at 12 international film festivals, including Tashkent, Berlin, and Sofia. The film has a running time of 80 minutes. Dubbed in English, it has the English title Return of Robin Hood. In this 1987 film, Sinha returned to the world of children and filmed in Hindi. Nurjan Saikate has performers like Anil Chatterjee, Sharmila Tagore, Chaya Devi, Ruma Guha Thakurta, Bharati, Ranuka, Rabi Ghosh, Bihari Sanyal, Nabadip Haldar and Jahar Ganguli. It is the story of Five Widows, was based on a story by Calcutt, pen name of Samarish Basu. In an interview, Tapan Sinha said, he believes that widows have a right to get married. Great social reformers like Vidyasagar and Vivekananda strove ceaselessly to bring about this practice. 
Harmonium features Durgata's Banerjee, Anil Chatterjee, Satya Banerjee, Arati Bhattacharjee, Swaroop Dutta, Kali Banerjee, Samit Banya, and Chaya Devi. Bankaramur Bagan includes a performance by Manoj Mitra as an old gardener. Chaplinesque in its approach, the film depicts the tragedy of a small man in this big world. In Kudito Pasan, Dilip Roy gives a performance as a Mughal king. This film, based on a story by Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore, also stars Somitra Chatterjee. Sinha's Jachagriho Utam and Aranduti Devi, Bikish Roy is a fascinating film drawn from everyday life, specifically what happens when two individuals Utam and Aranduti meet, quite unexpectedly, on a train, after a long gap in which they have not seen one another. The subject of marital discord has rarely been dealt with more finesse in Indian films. Sinha's speciality lay in making his images speak more than a thousand words with masterful use of symbolism. For instance, in Jachagriho, based on a short story by Subodh Ghosh, the estranged couple meet by chance in the waiting room of a railway station after years of separation. As the past becomes alive again, they deliberate whether to reunite but decide against it. As they leave by separate trains, heading in opposite directions, the shot cuts to the waiter in the kitchen hanging up their teacups in two separate hooks, far away from each other but looking very much a pair. A remarkable closing shot that summed up the tragedy of marital discord, Galpa Halo Sachi is a satirical film on how a heaven-sent servant played by Rabi Ghosh brings order and peace to a quarreling disorganized family. Banu Bindiopadhyay, Prasad Mukherjee, Bankam Ghosh, Ajay, Partha Mukherjee and Chinmoy Roy and some lesser known actors with the exceptions of Bharati and Chaya Devi comprise the cast. This was remade in Hindi by Harishikesh Mukherjee as Bawarchi, with Rajesh Khanna in the lead role. Atanka is based on a true story about a teacher who witnessed a murder, and his subsequent harassment and torture and harassment by the group of hoodlums who committed the crime. Somitra, Satabdi Roy and Prasenjit Chatterjee are the central performers, along with Nirmal Kumar and Manoj Mitra. Nima Baumak and Bishnu Guha Thakartha play the villains. Anil Chatterjee has a role as one of the teacher's well-wishers. Admi Aur Orat is based on a story by Prafula Roy. Amol Palekar and Mahua Roy Choudhury act in this piece. Sinha's telefilm Admi Aur Orat was remade in Bengali as Manush starring Samit Banya and Devika Mukherjee by the director himself. Sinha made another telefilm Didi with Deepti Naval as the central character. Sinha's Ek Dr. Ki Mat was based on Abhimanu, a story by Ramapada Choudhury. Ek Dr. Ki Mat has Shabana Azmi, Pankaj Kapoor, Irfan Khan and Anil Chatterjee in the cast. In Ek Dr. Ki Mat there is a touch reminiscent of Ibsen. Dipankar Roy invents a vaccine for leprosy, but the entire community turns against him. In this work, Sinha examines the way society responds to the work. Vijayendra Gaj, Vasant Choudhury and Deepa Sahi have cameos in the film. Talent is subject to ridicule. The more you excel the more number of enemies you seem to have. Why this animosity towards excellence? Ek Dr. Ki Mat won the Rajat Kamal for the second best feature film of the year, besides earning Sinha the Best Director Award. Sinha's wheelchair has a cast of Somitra Chatterjee, Laboni Sarkar, Arjun Chakraborty and Ruma Guha Thakurta. Sarkar gives a performance as a handicapped character who uses a wheelchair. The film was based on a story by the director himself, although it was inspired by the life of a crusading doctor. Wheelchair is about a young woman who is molested late one evening in Jair office. While fighting off the three men, she sustains injuries and is bedridden for a while. She is fortunate enough, however, to receive proper medical care and also emotional support, and in the end, she can look forward to a better life. Adilat o Ekti Mai Bengali, 1981, features Tanuja, Biplab Chatterjee and Manoj Mitra. The film departs from Sinha's usual style. Ermila Tanuja, a young teacher on a holiday, is raped by a gang of wealthy young men. The culprits are arrested, but Ermila is shunned by her friends, fiancé and even parents. She is an outcast like Dr. Roy in Ek Dr. Ki Mat. The difference is that while Ermila is ostracized through no fault of her own, Roy faces social wrath because of his talent. Sinha's Antarhan stars Somitro Chatterjee, Madhabi, Manoj Mitra, Sabiasachi Chakraborty, Satabdi Roy, Riku Dutta, Bhisma Guha Thakurtha, Raman Roy Choudhury, Nirmal Chakravorty, and Arjun Chakravorty. It deals with the disappearance of a girl and her lover and is based on a story by Dibayendu Palat. 
Sinha feels that some fictionalization of a real-life incident, or even a newspaper report from which the source of the original story is supposed to be derived, is necessary for cinematic dramatization. Riku Dutta, a newcomer to films who is regularly seen in television serials, was excited to act in this film of Sinha who, she says, is the mentor of many new artists. In the series of films that Sinha made in the last eight years of his life, a trusting and idealistic man, assailed by unfortunate circumstances or hostile and scheming persons, stands out as an example of indomitable individualism. I have always believed in individual courage and effort. I think, collective system or life hardly allows an individual to discover the infinite strength within him. I like the individual who has the courage to face any untoward situation, which is why I have shown an individual as a relentless fighter against all hazards in Admi Aur Orat, Atanka and Ek Dr. Ki Mat. My protagonists in these films have practically done miracles by their own strength and self-confidence. In Antarhan also, the professor takes up the job of finding out his missing daughter. He depends only on himself and on none else, says the director. Boiderio Rahasia was a detective film, Manoj Mitra, Bhishma Guha Thakurtha, Tapas Paul, Alpana Goswami, Moon Moon Sen, Nirmal Kumar, and Premansu Bose with Basant Choudhury form the cast. Sinha presented five hit films in succession, K. Shudita Pasan, Kabulawala, Haiti Bazaar, Apanyan and Ekani. This created a record that is thus far unsurpassed. Sinha's five-part feature film Daughter of This Century marked a new beginning in Indian cinema. Starring Shabana Azmi, Jaya Bachchan, Nandita Das, Deepa Sahi, and Sulabha Deshpande in central roles, the film was produced by Shunya Communications under the tutelage of Sesh Nath Banerjee and Mohan Das. The film was based on stories by noted writers over a span of century that highlighted the negligence and indifference towards the women folk of our country. Starting with a Rabindranath Tagore's Jabito O. M. Rito, it also incorporated stories of other notable Bengali writers like Sarat Chandra Chatterjee, Gaur Kishore Ghosh, Prafula Sen and Dibayendu Palat. Five actresses played the central roles and were supported by the Who's Who of Taligunj that included Jeet, Debashri Roy, Arjun Chakraborty, Rita Koiral, Ganesh Mukherjee, Amit Banerjee, Kashik Sen, Joy Badlani, Papia Sen and many others. The director wanted to convey the message that in spite of tremendous scientific advancements, attitudes towards women have not changed much in the span of a century. Raja Sen's documentary on Tapan Sinha is entitled Filmmaker for Freedom. Sinha made a detective TV serial Hutumar Naksa, casting Somitra Chatterjee, Manoj Mitra, Demon Chakravorty, Rabi Ghosh and others. Sinha's wife, filmmaker Arunduti Devi, died in 1990. Ajib Gayer Ajib Katha is based on a novelette by eminent Bengali writer Shirsendu Mukhopadhyay. This film, in Sinha's own words, is a semi-fantasy designed for all, including children. Ajib Gayer Ajib Katha is a strange story of a strange village. The message is, it is necessary to have a community drive to get anything done in today's society. We must not look at the government for everything, says the director. In the West and also in the Far East, there is a system of community initiatives. I believe, we should have this same kind of approach too. He adds, according to this story, a person has to prepare himself to confront any adversary. The cast of Ajab Gayer includes Debasri Roy starring as a light-hearted village girl. Debasri has not done such a role before and I found her absolutely suitable for it, said the director. She is the only female character in the film, which also brought a new face, Debesh Roy Choudhury, to the big screen. His role requires him to do a lot of physical labor, including sprinting. The rest of the cast includes Somitra Chatterjee, Manoj Mitra, Nirmal Kumar, and Bibas Chakravorty. Kushik Senator Ten Days of Shooting were done at Falta, on the banks of the Ganga, starting on 7 December 1997. The following month, some shots were taken in a village house. Sinha's final venture, the children's film Anoka Modi, was incomplete. The film features Arjun Chakravorty, and is being made in Hindi. Legacy 
In January 2010, the then Railway Minister Mamata Banerjee, laid the foundation stone of the Tapan Sinha Memorial Metro Hospital, at Taligunj, Kolkata. Topic awards Civilian Award Padma Shri 1992, National Film Awards 1956, National Film Award for Best Feature Film, Kabulawala 1956, National Film Award for Best Feature Film in Bengali, Kabulawala 1957, National Film Award for Best Feature Film in Bengali, Luha Kapat 1960, National Film Award for Second Best Feature Film, K. Shudita Pashan 1965, National Film Award for Second Best Feature Film, Ati 1967, National Film Award for Best Feature Film Haiti Bazari 1968, National Film Award for Best Feature Film in Bengali Apanyan 1971, Best Screenplay, Ekoni 1990, Best Direction, Ek Dr. Ki Mott 1990, National Film Award for Second Best Feature Film Ek Dr. Ki Mott 2006, Dadasaheb Falk Award International Awards Best Film Cork Festival, Ireland for Kudita Pashan Silver Bear Extraordinary Prize of the Jury at 7th Berlin International Film Festival for Kabulawala Jury Award San Francisco Film Festival for Hansuli Banker Apokatha Silver Peacock Second Best Film, International Film Festival of India and Audience Award, Sydney Film Festival for Nurjan Saikate International Certificate of Merit, Venice Film Festival for Atithi Diploma of Merit, London Film Festival for Arohi Silver Leopard, Locarno Film Festival for Arohi Award for Best Film Royal Cup, Cambodia Asian Film Festival for Haiti Bazari Award for Best Film in 13th Asia Pacific Film Festival for Haiti Bazari Silver Trophy Cup of Honor in Phnom Penh Film Festival for Haiti Bazari Afro Asian Award Moscow Film Festival for Sagina Mahato Golden Crown for Best Music Seoul Asian Film Festival for Harmonium Special Award Child of Our Time V Film Festival Milano for Safed Hadi UNICEF Award Honorable Mention Berlin Film Festival for Aj Ka Robin Hood equals equals filmography